Ever since I saw this episode of Fresh Prince of Bel-Air when I was a teen, I've always worn boxers. Cause Will told DJ Jazzy Jeff that he should not be wearing them bikini drawers because they were making him sterile. And Jeff was all like, you told me not to wear them on the street, not to not wear them. Trace here for D News, everybody. Have you ever heard that rumor that the type of clothing you wear can affect your sperm count? It turns out that DJ Jazzy Jeff's drawers may have caused the soldiers to go AWOL. Low sperm count can affect conceiving children, and a lot can affect that count. And your clothing would be near the bottom of that list, but just for fun, Let's explore this. The testicles are outside of the body for a reason. The human body has a temperature of 98.6 degrees on average, but the ideal temperature to produce sperm is about 93.2 degrees Fahrenheit. If your clothing is too restrictive to allow this change, you can affect your sperm's count and motility, or movement. Over the last 60 years, some studies say sperm counts are declining, like children are men, y'all. Though this is still a debate, as the studies are based on sperm banks and not necessarily representative samples. With this in mind, a new study was released this week from the Scottish Medical Journal with an interesting solution. Wear a kilt. The kilt is a traditional garment of Scotland and was commonly seen in the 18th century throughout the country and has now become part of modern Scottish wedding wear as well as some people's traditional day wear. This study claims that there may be a medical benefit to the Scottish skirt. Seriously, it's not a skirt. I know I don't want to get my butt kicked. The thing is, the study admits that their conclusion is an untested hypothesis. The researcher confirms that there are no medical studies at all claiming the kilt to be a healthful garment, but still hypothesizes a common sense physiological benefit of natural testicular temperature control. The, traditionally, Scots wouldn't wear anything beneath the kilt. The paper claims that if sperm counts are down because of oven-like groins, perhaps we need to keep them cooler. No one wants to burn their biscuits, if you know what I'm saying. The Mayo Clinic points out on their website that regular underwear should not affect your fertility. Though, if you're looking to increase sperm count, you better get your junk into boxers ASAP. So why not a kilt then, I guess? There are medical reasons for low sperm count outside of fashion. The Mayo Clinic said that frequently using saunas or hot tubs will lower your sperm count, as will regular tobacco use, or a job where males stare at computer screens for long periods of time. Damn it. It's important to note the human body takes about 11 weeks to produce a new crop of sperm, so if you've got a low count, you need to wait at least that long before your count would go up. You can't just hop into a kilt for a few days and then go around making babies. If they could prove that a kilt would make you more fertile, would you wear one? I mean, they do have utility kilts after all. They got cargo pockets, man. They're pretty useful. Tell us all about it in our comments section or tweet at us at DNews. And while you're at it, make sure you RSVP to our Google Hangout coming up April 23rd, 7 p.m. Eastern Time, 4 p.m. Pacific. I'm Trace. We'll see you there. All right, we got it. Great. Thanks, man.